Hi there. I want to tell you how to operate and use a service I have used for many years called Perfect Potluck. And actually I'm going to walk you through this process on a screen recording that I'm going to do in just a moment. But I want to introduce it to you first. I have used this for all sorts of potluck meals. This can be for holidays, Christmas, 4th of July, Thanksgiving. And then it can also be for like things that you do at church or any groups that you have where you want everybody to contribute. This is the way to organize it. So the organizer would go in and just set everything up. It's very user friendly. Just join me on the screen recording in just a second here and you'll see how all this is set up. I'm going to head over to perfectpotluck.com and you can see here we've got a box that says create and a box that says find. You'd use the find only if you are looking for one that you did not receive a link for, but generally people receive the link to the sign up page and don't really need to go looking for it or using a password. So we're going to go here to create and I'm going to click on the green create button. And that takes me into the page then where I'm going to be entering all my information. So I'm just going to go ahead and type everything in. So you have to put a password of some sort and that's just a good one to use for demonstration purposes. All right, the event name for the one I'm setting up is Easter dinner. I love autocorrect uh, most of the time, sometimes not so much. So the user password that I always use is yummy, actually not with a capital and hardly anyone has to use it, but if they do, I know what password to tell them because it's really easy. All right, so the event date is April 4th. That's what Easter falls on this year. So April, you have to click done in case you didn't know that. I didn't for some time and I wondered why what I had entered the month or day or whatever did not stick. And that's why you have to click done. All right, and 2021. And so then the event time. All right. Okay, so now I'm heading down here. Now for meal location, I'm just going to put dad and mom's. And normally if I were not doing this with just family, I would put the address so that they would then get a link to Google Maps for directions. So all you have to do to get that is just put in the address there, but I don't need to for my family. All right, so then down here, it says how many will attend your group meal. I don't use that. You can certainly use that, but um, I just don't need to because we just know what we want to bring. So appetizer, I don't usually use appetizer, so I will do uh, meat and I need one meat. Now, if I want to specify something about that, then I can do that right in that little notes section right there. And it will actually put parentheses around whatever you write. So on this next line, I'm going to instead put fish because Dave will do fish and somebody else will do some kind of a meat and we need one of those. Side dishes, I'm going to just put um, three for that. And then bread, I'm gonna put bread or rolls. And then I'll just need one person for that. And then I'm actually going to move dessert. I'm going to highlight it, cut it, and I'll just put it down a ways because I have a few other items that need to be signed up for before we get to dessert. All right. And I'm going to put for desserts, I'm going to just put four because like one person might bring ice cream, someone else might bring a pie. And then I don't know why they have cups, plates, napkins on one line and then utensils on another. So what I do is I combine them. I'm going to cut that though and put that down here. And then I'm also going to add on utensils to the end of cups, plates, and napkins. And we only need one person to do that. All right, so beverages, I'll put three people down for that because one might do coffee and tea, one might do LaCroix, that's a family favorite. And then uh, someone else might bring uh, whatever. And then um, other things we might bring are olives so one person can bring that and then i would actually get more specific on the side dishes i would have like mashed potatoes 
In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna have one person bring that. And then I'm going to have some kind of a salad. And green salad is totally different from a fruit type salad. So if you want both kinds brought, you need to specify. So I'm gonna put green salad, one, and then I'm gonna put uh, fruity salad, one. So the side dishes can just be anything, but I'm gonna take that down to one. So as you can see, you can change anything. Nothing is set in stone. Not even after you get it done, you can still go back and edit. So I'm thinking that's good for now. Um, I just put dessert down too far, but that's not that big of a deal. What'll happen is those two lines between fruity salad and desserts will just disappear. If there's no number in that little box there, then they just won't show up on the, on the sign up page once it's done. Okay, so any notes? I think I'm gonna just say arrive at five to help prepare, eat at six o'clock. So I think that's really all I need for right now. And again, I can always go back and change it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit group meal details there, that button. And the whole thing will set up if I have entered everything correctly. And it looks like I have, yep. So the notes are set up there, the little notes that I had. And then meat, fish, side dishes, all these different things. So you can see here with beverages, there's three. So they have three lines under that. And then with desserts, I put four. So there's four lines. So now what I will do is you, I can either tap over here on take or I can tap on the yellow line, it says click to sign up and there we are. So I'll put uh, dad and we don't need our last name or any of the information. Although if you are going to an event where it's lots of people, like it could be for a home group or it could be a church event or something for the office. You do wanna put in um, all that information because that way you will get notifications of the meal as it's coming up and it will actually remind you that you signed up for such and such and remind you of the fact that it's coming up. So I'm just gonna go on over here to what I'll bring. I'm tapping once in that and I'm going to put, um, I'll just put salmon. Okay, and then I'm going to click on sign up. Be sure and click that or nothing will show up for you. It will just be lost. Okay, so then I'm going to do olive. So I'm clicking once on that and I'll put mom. And then I'll just put those just because I can't stand having an empty line. So we'll sign up and then I'll put mom. I'm going to put pumpkin pie. I know it's the wrong holiday, but we are year-round pumpkin pyres. Sign up. And then I'm also going to put whipped cream here. Sign up. And then also whoever hosts it always brings cups, plates, napkins, and utensils. So I'll put myself down for that. And then sign up. Okay, so we come back out here and, and we can see who all has signed up for what thus far. So now what I will do is send out the link to my family. And that has actually come in email by now. And so I just go to that email and I copy the link. And that's what I then send out to the other people that are coming. And then they will go on in there and sign up. because one person doesn't have to keep track of what anybody else is bringing or enter it for them unless they are computer illiterate, for lack of a better word, or else uh, they have computer phobia and they just don't want to. I've been known to do that for people as well and I'm totally fine doing that. This is just the handiest service. Absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. And I thank you for watching.